So guys, we're doing something a wee bit different today. We don't really know what we're doing here, but look, hey, it'll um, be a bit of fun. could possibly get in trouble. <laughs> oh yeah, we're definitely going to get in trouble. Um, talking about politics and oh. D&D. Oh God. Oh, but look, anyway, so we're doing the uh, political alignment charts, or no, sorry, not political alignment, political compass ones. Like, if you guys don't know what a political compass is at this stage, I'm sorry, it's an old meme. It is an old uh, meme. Let's just get into this. What we're going to do is we've got quite a few here. I've had them sitting for ages, and I think they're really funny. So so we're going to start off by doing each quadrant at a time. We're just going to do the libertarian left, libertarian right, authoritarian left, authoritarian right. right. And that's the way we're going to do it because... It's just easier doing them in quadrants than <laughs> yeah. working our way around the board. So. Yeah. So look, let's get into this. I think they're really funny and I'm sure you guys have met a lot of people that match this description yeah. a bit too closely <laughs> for liking. Or... It might have struck a nerve with you. Yeah. And you, you, it, maybe it might you, be maybe a self-realisation. You, maybe you yourself have been called out, which I definitely feel called out in a few of these. But hey, that's just me. Yeah. So let's get into this. The Steven Universe. Wants to befriend every enemy and redeem every villain. Avoids combat whenever possible. Plays a healer. Essentially a more wholesome version of the incredible Horny Bard. Yeah. Yeah, I've met but a few. I've, I've met a few people that are very hyper-passive... It, it, it just feels like they always get in the way, though. Yeah. I know that they're trying something, but it's like, look, I don't want to play with you. I'm yeah. sorry. The egg. Hey, how come you only play characters with the opposite gender? Oh, haha, ha, I just find them more interesting. Still cis, though. Whatever you want to okay. say, mate. The homebrewer. Writer who brings all kinds of neat ideas to the game. Cool character options and items. Maybe a couple of spells. Nothing too crazy, though. Thinking about maybe DMing sometime soon. F- sounds like me. Yeah, <laughs> I actually feel a bit cold out there. I keep thinking, it's like, oh, you know what? I might actually start like my own game. But then I think about it, it's like, I don't have the time. Yeah. The lesbian. Her character is cooler than yours. <laughs> really gets into character. Great at role playing. Will kill Trevor if you try to make them play at the same table. I'm sure we'll meet Trevor. We'll meet Trevor soon enough. The furry. Only ever plays tabaxi, tieflings, or dragonborn. <laughs> Actually, super good at roleplay. Lots of experience. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Will help you with character creation. Make you a fursona. Yeah. Yeah. The closeted furry. <laughs> Only plays druids or rangers. <laughs> Is this teal getting called out here? <laughs> character literally raised by wolves. Thinks it's quirky to introduce a character by having them lick one of the other PCs. Oh, God. Don't be suspicious. Don't, Don't be suspicious. suspicious. <laughs> We always take the piss out of Teal for it because he's playing a uh, bugbear druid. Yeah. And he's literally using a picture that he found off of Furfinity or whatever oh, it was. It was like, Teal, you got something to explain to boy. The homebrew anarchist. Extremely cool post apocalyptic cyberpunk setting. Is not technically playing D&D anymore. <laughs> <laughs> the incredibly horny bard. Every DM's worst nightmare. Monster manual? I think you mean husband catalog. <laughs> I will suggest the dragon. <laughs> <laughs> Why are they like this? The pyromaniac. Just joined to get to set things on fire. I didn't ask how big the room was. I said I cast fireball. <laughs> Honestly, that sounds like me. Ever since I got access to fireball in the uh, in the thingy, game of the Floss meeting game. So moving on to libertarian right, then, from the top. The snack guy. Bring snacks to the meetings. Oh shit, he brought Cool Ranch Doritos. Thanks, Chris. Hey, Chris. That's me. <laughs> <laughs> the combat specialist. Plans entire combat out beforehand to maximise damage and ensure victory. I know, I this know. Too, so- everyone does that. I don't know. There's so many people who are like, right, okay, no, we need to plan this to the ninth degree. It's like, yeah. like we don't know what we're even going up against yet. After one turn, the pyromaniac runs the ho- ruins the whole plan anyway. Yes. Fighter is a super fun class. What are you talking about? <laughs> Mate, fighter is a song, fun class. I will have no more said about this. <laughs> the game store owner. Skedaddle, skedown, your money is all gone. <laughs> <laughs> Owns the dice hoarder's soul. The pirate. Swashbuckler in game. Has the entire Witches of the Coast <laughs> library on a Google Drive. <laughs> Stop looking at me, Megan. I don't know what you're on about. D&D should be free for all players. The new book is $60. Let's see about that. Stop looking at me. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> the chaotic and neutral. Takes every possible chance to steal from slash stab other player characters. Thinks this makes him edgy and subversive. It doesn't. 
Guys, it's just what my character would do. You quit being mad about it. Ugh. Trevor. Oh, here we gotta Here's be Trevor. Trevor. Has not lasted more than two sessions with any group without getting banned. Hits on female players in character. Ugh. I mean, if you think about it, it would have been normal to marry at 13 in the game. <laughs> and the time the game is based on. Yikes. <laughs> yes. Why is there so many of them, though? There's so many of them. The gunslinger. Fan-made classes only. Will out damage whole party in one turn. Lore? What lore? Murder hobo. Every character is chaotic evil. Rule plays this by murdering every single NPC. Does not care about the consequences of his actions whatsoever. Introduce a little anarchy. You know the thing. I don't. Think, I've never met a true murder hobo that will just murder everyone and screw consequences. I've yeah. yet to actually meet one that's that's just one hundred percent. Yeah. Yeah. Like, you know, someone that just, like, you know, they played Skyrim too many times and they get bored <laughs> yeah. and they want to murder some, Rampage. The same, as, same, yeah. same as GTA. You know, yeah. when you get bored, it's like, right, you know what? Time to kill everyone. Yeah. The dice hoarder owns so, so many dice. You're not getting my dice, Megan. I don't care. If he asks to borrow some, he'll give you the plain yellow set. The cute little DD starter kit! Yes! I actually do have dedicated dice to rent other people. I actually do have it in fact. James has like fucking. There must be like 150 bags of dice in this house. I, I love dice. I think they're cool. I, look, I enjoy my dice. I don't care. So, up the authoritarian left. The lore keeper owns every book, will critique your backstory for accuracy. Well, actually, in this circumstance, it would be extremely unusual for a dwarf and an elf to ever agree for an alliance. And furthermore... <laughs> Honestly, it does sound like Teal, because he does have fucking everything that's available on Roll20. Yeah. Like, he's a genuine fucking wheel when it comes yeah. to that shit. When it comes to Roll20, you gotta have it all. The DM lets the whole party level up at the same time. Doesn't railroad. Remember, guys, doing what's fun is the most important rule. That does sound quite a bit like Nick, I will, I will say. The Munchkin. What's role playing? He's here to win. Yes, you can win at D&D. Manipulates roles for personal gain. I swear they aren't loaded, I'm just lucky. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 would, I, wouldn't put, I would put Stig up past that. Mm. The amount of times he gets criticals <laughs> is ridiculous, but how does he get them on Roll20? The ex-Christian girl plays tieflings almost exclusively. If she brings brownies, they have weed in them. Dating the lesbian. The fantasy hardliner. Absolutely despises any technology or sci-fi elements. Wants every campaign to feel like Lord of the Rings. Still mad about <laughs> everyone. <laughs> Your character is ruining my immersion! I got told that once with my North FC character. <laughs> my immersion! I was playing the North FC meme. <laughs> The balance enthusiast. No, you can't just use a combination of feats and bonuses to get 64 attacks every turn. You're ruining the action! Economarino! <laughs> <laughs> Not the Economarino! No. The edgy realist is the only player who cares about survival mechanics or carry weight. Thinks Goodberry is massively broken. Trust me, guys, it'll be more satisfying this way. There's really isn't that many people that no. actually see, about, like, the weight and... see after like a few sessions. I'm telling you right now, <laughs> whose bag isn't overflowing? I know. Like when do you ever empty out your bag? It's like, oh yeah, no, I I got I got rid of this. It's like, like it just keeps piling on. The ancestor reacts to everything that happens in game with the darkest dungeon quote. Mm. How quickly the tide turns. The enthusiastic newbie has waited to play for years. Finally has a group to play with. Wants to stick to the rules. Has no idea what they are. <laughs> Actually, super fun to play with. <laughs> Honestly, they are though. I, I find people that are yeah. very new and just want to get into it. They can't the be the most to fun. Play with, yeah. yeah. Okay, so authoritarian right. The pretend fascist. Haha, <laughs> my character wants to kill the inferior races, but I would never want that in real life. What do you mean, band? What for? <laughs> That's literally the entire spell <laughs> spell jammer server. It's like like elves, but to be fair, like in the he actually likes elves. The, the thing them. is, if you know the lore from the spell jammer uh, universe, yeah. elves did pretty much wipe out a lot of goblinoid, goblinoid. races, yeah. and most people play orcs, goblins, stuff like that. Yeah. So it makes sense. There's a reason to get there, There's a reason behind yeah. it, you know. The GM has a habit of adversal DMing comes up with kick-ass creative story will kill you if you deviate from it when i say rules as written i mean rules as written <laughs> the excited royalist 
honestly just thrilled the game world is an absolute monarchy and everyone thinks it's cool. I picked the noble background. Greetings, peasants. <laughs> Sounds like this. <laughs> yes. He picked the noble background. He's like, yeah, uh, I, I believe my uh, paladin should come with mythical armor because... I picked a little, like, you know, the noble back. also, is fuck traps. Well, I mean, that sounds like, you know, um, monarchy to me, <laughs> to be honest with you. The min-maxer. Ha <laughs> pull our master goes with me. <laughs> Me, pull our armor. It's a fun class, I don't care. The rules lawyer. Has memorised every rule so he can kill other PCs on a technicality. Constantly jerks off the <laughs> 3.5 edition. <laughs> yeah, I've met some of them. Will fight people who prefer 5th edition. Hates people who prefer story to gameplay. That's not what it says in the book. <laughs> the Christian girl. Kind of uncomfy with all the extra gods. Character is a wood elf whose name is one letter off from hers. Brings brownies for the table. I've actually met more fellas that have the character name just one letter off. One letter off. off, yeah. Steve. We play in his mom's basement. Everyone says thank you, Steve. Same time next week. <laughs> <laughs> That's quite the most realistic one out of them all. <laughs> the Paladin fan only plays Paladins. Moderate IRL. Smite best spell. Yes, it is. Dance vault. Dance vault. Dance vault. Dance vault. Like honestly, see if you're going to play a Paladin, you can't. Do, like, come on, guys. Is there any other way to play a Paladin? The Chad football player. Got talked into joining by his nerd friends. Actually pretty fun to play with. Plays a Babarni. <laughs> yes! Punch all the things! Oh my god, that's, why that's that? Smurfy. No, that's no, Smurfy, no, one of no, our we... No, but why is that me with like the football? Yeah, that is. That is you. <laughs> <laughs> you got it. Like, Come on, Megan, it'll be a bit of fun. Come on, join us. <laughs> yeah, you do like to play. Punchy Mar- things. Martial classes. Punchy things. Yeah. We've got more of these, so we'll move on to the next one. Hey guys, so are you looking to spice up your game night? Do you need some orcs to raid your camp? Do you need some illithids to suck out your brains? Do you need some undead to rise from the graves? What about a dragon to slap down in the table and fuck up your players with? Or if you prefer a frost giant or a manticore, we got him. It's a lot more fun than dropping rocks in your players' heads. Or maybe you just want short stacks. Cause we know you love them. We have such an expansive range of fantasy options and we're currently trying to expand into not 40k. (laughs) Also, if models isn't your thing, go check out our subclasses. There's loads of stuff there that you might find interesting. But go ahead and check it out. Links are all down below and let's get back into the video. Okay, starting off again. Libertarian left at the bottom. The Metagod. Campion is 100% homebrew. Invents tabletop role-playing game systems on the fly. Time is his plaything. <laughs> this sounds like garb, though. <laughs> yes. The druid. Rips a gravity bomb during the <laughs> session. Oh, no. I want to run a Character has extended to real life. Can talk to birds. <laughs> the hacker. No dungeon master could obtain this massive brain. Does everything he can to derail the campaign, but doesn't have the balls to go murder hobo. Thinks he's clever, it's just really <laughs> yeah, a prick. Yeah. <laughs> the furry in denial. Will flip shit if he can't play his homebrew kitsun race. Rants about furry weeb comics he reads. I ironically. Beastmaster is good, guys. <laughs> the LARPer. I, mean, I like Beastmaster, don't get into oh, that. Yeah. <laughs> I like it, I think it's a good. Okay, it's not a powerful one, but it's, you know, it's got something going on. The LARPer. Spends way too much effort on preparing for games. Last game she ran was in an abandoned lumber liquidations. <laughs> Liquidators will, har- will harvest your kidneys. kidneys. The Rockstar. Doesn't plan sessions in advance. Campaign is an upward world clusterfuck. Master of method acting. Steals content from the worldsmith. John Deathstalker. His party betrayed and killed him. Can't trust anyone anymore. Seeking revenge. Fuck. <laughs> The accident prone. Gets a little too attached to his characters. Absolutely terrible at the game. His eighth character this campaign just died. <laughs> there will be blood. <laughs> I've, I've, I've met a few people like that. The horror story victim. Made a female character in his first game. She instantly got raped by the dungeon pimp. The turned dungeon off, pimp? Turned off D&D forever. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, you know, I, I, I've, I've came to a new... 
idea or concept of what's actually going on with all these horror stories. Mm -hmm. I think it's a new form of gatekeeping to keep the normies out. Okay. So I think what people are doing is they are advertising on Rule 20 and they're specifically going out of their way to be horrible DMs and trying to be as nasty as possible <laughs> to, to, keep the, the <laughs> to, to keep the normies out. I honestly do think that might be the case. Normies out! Normie, yeah. get out! Yeah. <laughs> so, Libertarian right, the homebrewer, deals up to 310 damage with a single attack at level 1. <laughs> Jonathan, <laughs> Jonathan. Spends his weekends on dndwiki.com. It's balanced, I, I swear. swear. <laughs> the dungeon pimp. This is the dungeon pimp. <laughs> Only plays D&D to live out his depraved <laughs> sexual fantasies. All his characters are underage girls. I put on my robe and wizard hat. <laughs> <laughs> Why are they? <laughs> <laughs> the murder hobo. Unhinged psychopath in real life. Rapes and pillages without consent. How do you consent to rape and pillages, though? I have no idea. No concept. It, oh, without consent to oh, DM. Right. Oh, right. That's what my character would do. Isn't it always the case? That's always what your character would do? I can't cope with Mason. <laughs> Mason has undiagnosed ADHD. Playing for fun. Wait, why are we fighting this guy? Never <laughs> takes notes. Yay! <laughs> Yay! I'm pretty sure I have ADHD. I've never been diagnosed with it, but I'm pretty sure this is me. <laughs> Danny DeVito in a robe and all. <laughs> the chosen one. Always gets away with bullshit that would make the home brewer shit himself. The DM owes him money. <laughs> Cheats. The acquisitor. Jerks off the real estate contracts. Always expanding the brand. There are no labour laws in <laughs> the Sword Coast. Me. <laughs> Me. <laughs> the Phantom. Showed up the first few sessions. Always did. <laughs> <laughs> Is this you as well, Megan? <laughs> I'm stopped answering texts because you're dead. <laughs> <laughs> you're lethal at it. Anytime it's like. I'm working on it. Why is it every time you've always got. But I do work. I know exactly. It's lethal to get for you to find a game. And I'm creating a baby, so I like know. I am always busy. I know. Big sad. Craig. <laughs> what? <to> what, Megan? <laughs> are you going to assume this is me? <coughs> no. Comes to every game wasted. Fun to hang out with, but as a dog shit player. <laughs> Probably beats his kids. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't have any kids yet. <laughs> oh. The edgelord. <laughs> Nothing personal, kid. Tragic backstory hasn't improved <laughs> despite him playing the same character for years. Will rage quit and go play CSGO? <laughs> yes, <go. laughs> oh, fuck me. Uh, authoritarian left. Deal. <laughs> Took this job because he genuinely loved DD. Can't kick shitty kids out of AL thanks to bullshit store policies. Unjustly hated. Per deal. Per deal. Amy. Still learning the ropes. Writes detailed backstories. Brings snacks. Criminally underappreciated. Get on, Yami. The Pathfinder player. Plays fat Pathfinder. Walked into the wrong oh, building. <laughs> the podcast Oh, podcast. no! <laughs> no! Thinks Matt Mercer is God. All her characters are just from Critical Role. How do you want to do this? <laughs> I've met this, but it was a fella. I've met this exact person, but it was a fella. And he was also playing the Batman archetype from the other oh, one. Oh, yeah. Batman 69. <laughs> <laughs> Some Russian guy from Rule 20. We'll find a point B to rush. Never goes in voice chat. <laughs> Might be a bot. <laughs> or, 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 or we've got that, but he's Spanish. Spanish. <laughs> the world smith. Put 70% of his efforts into the world and 5% into the plot. The rest isn't used. <laughs> <laughs> Writes lore for fun. The Lich King. High level wizard player. Has every necromancy spell. The world will be his. The undead horde. Raised by the Lich King. Literal hordes of mindless zombies. Slows down combat so much. Come the fuck on man. <laughs> it's like 20 <laughs> turns. Yeah. It, it is a yeah. bit of an issue. Field author. His campaigns are perfectly linear, with no room for player input. Just let me tell my fucking story! 
The gets, story shitter. <laughs> gets pissy when players don't remember the names of a shitty NPCs. <laughs> so authoritarian right from the bottom. The veteran has been playing for years, doesn't like the actual game much anymore, instead gets enjoyment from introducing new players. The min-maxer runs a barbarian slash bard slash druid slash monk multi-class, shreds enemies until he meets one that counters his gimmick. Not technically cheating. Technically. The weeb likes the podcast fangirl, but with anime. Hates women. (laughs) (laughs) Ricky, every game he runs is just his own power fantasy. His party of level 1s is constantly babysat slash killed by one of his level 20 DM player characters. Has an inferiority complex. (laughs) We all know a Ricky. Yeah, we all do. The commander, stuck in 4th edition, orders people around in combat, (laughs) thinks he's the rules lawyer, is really just a (laughs) retard, doesn't know how surprise works. Why is that you as well? No, it's not. No, it is not. (laughs) That is not me. Okay. The dwarves. Yeah, fuck elves. Fuck elves. Gods all the time, lads. (laughs) Turn up the wind rose. Gold. Let's kill some elves. Yes. (laughs) How can anyone not be on board with that? The pole DM. In my new setting, everyone hates tieflings and elves and black people. (laughs) Okay, well, I was going to start. Like, okay, Okay, come on, guys. It does make sense for people to dislike teeth and so yeah, it it just does. Maybe not elves, you know. I but, get it with elves. But, but te- like teeth and to me, they are playing something that's half demon. I don't really blame people from a from a medieval fantasy yeah. perspective to not like you know what I mean. Uh, is, it, is it weird for even thinking that? I don't know. No, I don't know. The rules lawyer knows the entire player's handbook by heart and will enforce it could exploit the hell out of the game, but chooses not to. The Disciple of Gygax has been playing since the 70s, knows every edition front and back. Countless players have died by his hands. (laughs) Why are they like this? (laughs) Just to suffer. (laughs) So, I know this video was a bit different from the usual, but uh, hey, if you guys are interested, also I'm pretty sure. Let us know which one you are down below. Yeah, definitely, because like, <laughs> like, I'm, I'm pretty sure we're, we can all identify with a at least co- one. At least one. You know, they're pretty blood ar- archetypes, but I do think I am one hundred percent Mason. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. You are probably more Mason. Yeah, I am not Craig Megan, and I'm not the uh, <laughs> not all the other ones. You, well, okay, I'm some of them. <laughs> well, Maybe some more than others. Some but... more than others, yeah. <laughs> yeah, some more than others, I would say. But yeah, where where do you feel like you fit on the alignment? And also, an interesting one, does your alignment from these from interact, the, interact with, with your, your actual, actual political, political compass chart? It would be interesting to see yeah. if someone got the same alignment, like yeah. whereabouts it would be. That would be interesting. But yeah, let us know what your ones are down below, or if you have created your own ones. Actually, I'll start a thread on the Facebook group as well. Yeah, uh, so head this. on over to the Facebook group. If you join the Facebook group, I'll make a blank template one, um, and you guys can just like fill work them in. If, if, if in. you guys can work Photoshop, yeah. or basic, you know what I mean? If you guys yeah. want to check it out, anyway. I think it would be Put cool. me and James in there somewhere. Yeah, put, yeah. where are we? Where would we where, be? Where, where do you think we would be? <laughs> yeah, where would we be on the alignment chart? I think the closest one would probably be the game store owner. Yeah. It's like, it's buy my fucking models, guys. <laughs> buy the models. <laughs> buy the fucking models. Yes. Like, they got fat teddies on them. Go on, do it. You know, Talking I'm, about models, head down to the link and check out the website. Check out the models, the t-shirts, the subclasses, all that good shit. Hit subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified every time we post. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye.